What's up, makers? My name is Luke. Today we're gonna sink or swim and make some tinfoil boats. Buoyancy is the ability for an object to float or sink. It was first identified by the Greek mathematician and philosopher Archimedes. He found that the amount of water displaced or moved by an object is equal to the amount of force required to keep that object floating. Think about it like this. A ship floats because the downward pressure of its weight in the water creates an equal upward pressure to keep the ship afloat. Let's test this by creating our own boat and see if we can make it buoyant. Start with a square piece of tin foil. First fold it in half and then unfold. Now fold the bottom and the top to the middle line and unfold. Now fold the bottom to the top line, then fold the top left corner and edge down to the line. Next fold the bottom left corner and edge up to the line. Now fold down the right side to the line and the bottom right corner up to the line. Now fold down the right side to the bottom and flip it over and fold down. Flip it over again and fold down and turn it over one more time. Now fold down the top left corner and edge to the line. Fold the bottom left corner and edge up to the line. Now fold up the right side to the line and the top right corner down to the line. Then fold the bottom section up and fold the top right corner down on both sides. Now open it up. Awesome! Before we test, let's see another way to make a tinfoil boat using one square sheet of tinfoil. First, fold it in half. Now fold it in half again and rotate to make a diamond. Now take one of the four pieces and fold it down to the bottom. Turn it over and fold down the rest to the bottom. Open the edges and fold down. Now open it up. Now let's test to see if this one is buoyant. These are just a few ways to construct a boat. Feel free to test this with different variations or ones you come up with yourself. Now let's add some cargo. We will use pennies to represent our cargo for our boat. Notice what happens when I add the pennies. You can see that the bottom of the boat starts to show more under the water. The more pennies I add, the heavier the boat becomes, displacing more water. And there she goes. Let's watch it one more time. This boat was able to hold up to 85 pennies before it sank into the water. Now let's try the other boat. Remember that buoyancy depends on two factors, the amount of water the object displaces and the density of that object. 
What happened to the density of the boat as more pennies were added? If too much cargo or weight is added, the boat's density becomes greater than that of the water, and it sinks. Let's see how many pennies this boat will hold before it sinks. And there she goes. This boat was able to hold 80 pennies before its density became greater than the water around it, causing it to sink. Be creative and engineer your own tinfoil boat to see how many pennies it can hold. The possibilities are truly endless. Good luck! Share your creation online using the hashtag ITeachMaker. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at ITeachMakerBus. See you later, makers.